After successfully finding and kidnapping the Wolverines, Shogun threatened them with the hypnotic control words that manipulate, sedate or even kill each of them in order to force them into helping Shogun and his group of allies find the adamantium petrified body of Wolverine in the burnt-down Paradise facility. Before they could leave on this mission however, they were attacked by Siphon, who killed Elixir and drained Dakin's healing factor, leaving it non-functional. They proceeded with the mission, and Dakin and X-23 initially kept Dakin's inability to heal a secret from their impromptu teammates. They encountered and fought the Wrecking Crew, hired by Mr. Sinister, who were also looking for Wolverine's body. When Dakin and X-23 found the body, Mr. Sinister appeared, took Wolverine's body, and also ripped an eye and arm from Dakin, leaving him mortally wounded. On the Changeling ship, Sharp used a region serum made by Dr. Cornelius that he found in the wreckage to stabilize and save Dakin, against Ogun's wishes. Dakin remained infirmed on the ship as the others made plans to continue their mission by stealing Wolverine's body back from Mr. Sinister. But their mission was a failure and Wolverine's body was recovered by the X-Men. Later Fang, an Imperial Guard member who had befriended Wolverine years prior. He easily defeated the Wolverines kidnapped them one by one, taking them on adventures, both teaching them important lessons but also causing them great pain and duress as revenge for them causing Wolverine so much grief. He took Dakin to Jutenheim. In Jutenheim, Fang took Dakin to face a frost giant. When Dakin initially refused to fight the giant, told him that Dakin was his estranged father. Despite lacking his healing factor, Dakin managed to gain the upper hand and tried to kill the giant, only for Fang to save it. Fang spoke to Dakin, touching on his obsession with gaining revenge on his father even briefly restoring Dakin's lost arm and eye. Just as Dakin believed that his lost limbs had been restored, Fang snatched them away, as part of punishing him for what he had done to his father. Afterwards the team was able to finally defeat Fang but he managed to escape. Dakin was then manipulated by Mystique into going after Siphon as revenge for what it did to him. Laura decided to follow him for his safety. Along the way, the duo encountered Blade who was fighting against Siphon and several vampires. After helping him and learning the truth about Siphon's powers, Dakin decided to fight Siphon to the death. Siphon overpowered Dakin and was about to kill him until Laura intervened and saved him. Dakin and Blade then worked together to defeat Siphon, but Laura convinced them not to kill him, since she knew Siphon was just a victim, who only wanted to find a way to get control of its body again. Siphon was captured, and Dakin and Laura then regrouped with the rest of the team. But not long after the team was betrayed by Endo, Neuro, and Skell and had to face against Sinister and his army. In the midst of the battle, Junk was killed by a feral Sabertooth and Mystique manipulated Dakin into turning Siphon loose. Siphon then drained Mr. Sinister's healing factor before being shot by Mystique. Mystique then sent Siphon, Shogun and the rest of the team though a portal to somewhere in Florida. The team was betrayed again by Mystique who, thanks to Siphon, drained Sabretooth, X-23, and Lady Deathstrike's healing factors. Mystique was the only one left with an healing factor, so the team used Siphon to track her in order to get their revenge. After finding her, Lady Deathstrike killed Siphon and the team confronted Mystique but she proved to be too powerful for them and she single-handedly defeated all of them. 